Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I just wanted to go over um, Streamlabs and the bitrate that you need to use because I got a lot of comments on my last video talking about Streamlabs and what settings I have been using. Um, a lot of them were re referring to bitrate um, and upload speed. So in this video, that's what I'm gonna be talking about. So here we are on my Streamlabs and just to kind of show you uh, my bitrate, um, I have a seven day upload speed when it's working right, but it hasn't been working right, so I haven't been able to stream. Um, but assuming my internet is working okay, um, I get, I don't know, I'd say six to eight uh, upload speed uh, megabyte per second. So I set a four or 4,000 bit rate um, here. Now, a lot of people, the question they had was, hey, my, uh, my upload speed is like 90 up or 100 up or 200 up. You know, they have these speeds that are way faster than anything I have. Um, which is awesome, but they had a lot of questions like, does that mean I can set my bit rate like 40,000 or 80,000? Um, and that's uh, not the case, and I'm gonna show you why. So I actually went ahead and opened up these two pages. Um, I'll go ahead and show you YouTube first. So uh, I'll leave a link in the description to both of these if you wanna look at them yourself. But basically, uh, I have the link for uh, YouTube and Twitch. And basically this page will show you uh, based on what resolution and how many FPS you wanna stream at, what your bit rate should be, and as well as other settings. Um, but say you wanna stream at 1080, 60, which is very common. Um, YouTube saying 1920 by 1080, obviously. Then your video bit rate, you wanna do 4,500 to 9,000. Now, something to note with YouTube is I don't believe that there are restrictions on bit rate, um, which is different on Twitch, which we will get to. Um, but uh, again, if you have a super high upload speed or you know much higher than um, honestly if you have anything over 10 upload speed um, it probably applies to you you probably never need more than 9,000 uh, bit rate to use nine, more than 9,000 bit rate because there's just no real benefit unless you're trying to stream in like 4k or something um, for some odd reason um, but for most people even if you have a hundred upload speed um, 9,000 is gonna be the max you're ever gonna wanna go. Um, and that's on YouTube. You can't go that high on Twitch, which we're gonna get to next. But um, I think the sweet spot for 1080p60, especially no matter what your upload speed, as long as it's at least, you know, around 10 or eight, um, at least as long as you have at least enough to stream at 6,000 bit rate, I think 6,000 bit rate is the sweet spot um, overall for 1080 especially. Um, but yeah, YouTube's recommending 4,500 up to 9,000. Um, again, 6,000 is kind of right in the middle of that, um, which is what I would recommend. And that's what I like to stream at if my internet allows me. But let's go ahead over to the Twitch um, Twitch bit rates. So here we are on the Twitch uh, bit rate page. Now, this one shows you the NVENC settings and the recommended X264 settings. Uh, most people are gonna wanna use the NVENC uh, setting. It's just better. Um, in most cases, but anyway, it is recommending 6,000 bit rate. Like I said, I think that's the sweet spot. Um, even if you are partnered on Twitch um, and you can stream more than 6,000 because 6,000 is actually the um, max bit rate you can stream on Twitch without being a partner. Um, so if you set anything over 6,000, 6,000 is the maximum bit rate that you can even stream um, on Twitch, regardless of your upload speed, um, unless you're a partner. And then I think you can stream up to 9,000 maybe, similar to how YouTube was recommending. Um, but again, I think 6,000 is still that sweet spot. So even if you are partnered and you can stream at a higher bit rate, I think 6,000 is still gonna give you a uh, great quality and it's really all you need. Um, there's no real reason, like I said earlier, to stream at much higher bit rate than that unless you are just really wanting a super quality stream or you're trying to do some weird 4K stream or something. Um, but basically that's all I wanted to cover in this video um, because a lot of people have a faster upload speed or much faster than I do and they were a little bit uh, not sure on that. So hopefully this clears up some of those questions. And then of course, if you do wanna stream at like 720, 60, um, you're not gonna need even 6,000 bit rate. You can get away with like 4,500, um, but you know, you can play around with that. But anyways, the main uh, meat of this video is I just wanted to cover um, bit rate and if you have a really high upload speed, what that means. Um, but yeah, I think a lot of people just didn't know that especially Twitch has a cap at 6,000 bit rate. Um, so you can't go over that, no reason to go over that. And you know, using a 40,000 bit rate or something is not gonna make your uh, stream any better. It's actually gonna make it uh, much worse and buffery and it just doesn't work. Um, so just stick with 6,000 if you've got a solid upload speed. Your upload speed's not quite good enough to stream at 6,000. Just keep going down and you know, stream at 720, 4,500. Or if you can't do that, do 3,500 and yeah, just 
find the settings that work the best for you but that's gonna be it for today's video hopefully this answered any questions if you have any more just leave a comment below i will try to respond to them or make a video answering them and yeah thank you all for watching leave a like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video